Photoshop just released a brand new feature and I'm speechless. So let me just show you. Here is the car on a separate layer. Here is the background. Both of them absolutely not matching. Just click on remove background with the car layer selected. First step done, still an absolutely horrible match, but then you'll see this new button called Harmonize. By the way, if you're not seeing the contextual taskbar, right click outside the canvas and click on Show Contextual Taskbar and just click on Harmonize. Photoshop will take a while to generate a few things, but oh my God, have a look at the results. Here is the before, here is the after. And you get three options, first, second, and third. And the best part is it doesn't change the car. It is the exact same car. Imagine the amount of time it would take if you were to do this by hand. It not only matched the lighting and the shadows. Have a look, here's the before. There was nothing there. It was all flat. But once you turn it on, see it painted all the lights. It also matched the color that goes with the scene. Now I know the shadows may not be perfect right here, but if you don't like this matching, you can always go back to properties here with that layer selected. If you don't see the properties, go to window and you wanna make sure properties is checked, you can generate one more time and it's gonna give you a different set of harmonization. This looks even better. First one, second one, that's not accurate, third one. I think I'm gonna go with the first one. This is pretty darn cool. And it gives you a fantastic starting point. We're gonna cover that later in the video. And if you thought it only could create shadows, let me just share with you another example. Here we have a car on the road again. I have removed the background. Let us click on Harmonize. Now this is a wet road, so there should be some sort of reflection, right? And it does create it. Here's the first option, second option, and third option. Now before you rush to try this feature, know that Harmonize right now is only available in Photoshop Beta. And just to be sure, it is Photoshop Beta version 26.10. However you wanna say it. And to install Photoshop Beta, simply open up your Creative Cloud desktop app, go to Apps here, beta at the top and from there install Photoshop beta. Once you do install it, there are two ways to apply Harmonize. The first and the easy one is through the contextual taskbar. If you're not seeing it, right click outside the canvas, click on show contextual taskbar. First of all, here we have a brand new chair image on this background. Let us click on remove background and after the chair is masked, you should be able to see the Harmonize button. That's one way of applying it, we already learned that. The second way is going to layer and harmonize, same thing. Brilliant, it already matched so darn well. Here is the before, here's the after. See all the shadows? First option, second option, third option. If you don't like any of these, you can generate one more time. Now let's talk about how it works through an extreme example. So here we have a scene where the light is coming from the back and the shadows are up front. On top of that, we have a picture of this person where the light is entirely different and you can barely see any shadows. I have already removed the background. Now let's click on Harmonize. As you can see, it created the shadow for you. Brilliant, take a look right here. First option, second option, third option. Let's say we go with the second option. The way it works is that it generates the entire thing on a brand new layer. If you take a look at just this layer, it generated the image again and masks it out. So let us turn off the masks for now. You would notice that it's not that high of a quality. The resolution is quite lower. So it has been generating the thing and to keep it sharp, it just masks the subject and the shadow out and the areas that it has generated. As you can see in the mask by holding the Alt key or the Option key and clicking on the mask, it generated all of those areas. Hold the Alt key or the Option key again and click back on the mask to see the entire thing. Now there's a quality limitation and we're gonna talk about that a bit later, but for right now, here is the overall before and here is the after. It would have been incredible if it did it through adjustment layers. That would be genius, but I'm asking for a lot. Now here's a more reasonable example where the lighting is similar. Let's try harmonize one more time. If you try extreme cases, of course, things are gonna break a little, but similar cases, this does a pretty amazing job. First option, second option, third option. Let us go with the second one and it created those subtle shadows and it just brings everything together. Now you, my friend, can of course make little adjustments to make the harmonization even better. In this case, I have already removed the background. It is not matching. Let's try harmonize. It created the reflections, the shadows, everything is fine, but it took the shine away. Here's the first option, second option, and third option. Let's say you were to go with the second one. I don't know why second is just working fantastic, but in this example, if you have a look at the before, the top part was already matching so well, just not the bottom part. So what do we do? Let us turn on the harmonized layer and then let's put it in a group. With just that one layer selected, press Ctrl or Command G. Now let's create a mask for the group. That way you have two masks for the same layer. Now let's take the brush 
black as the foreground color. You want to make sure it's a soft round brush. Just erase the top part like so. And just doing that improves the image so darn much. Now have a look. Here's the overall before, not matching at all, entirely different image, and here is the after. Now I've done a fair share of compositing in the past by hand, and if you're watching this video, I'm sure you have to at some point. But how does Harmonize compare to actual manual compositing? Let's see. Here we have a picture of a man on top of a completely different background. The lighting is absolutely not matching. Let's click on Harmonize. There you go, the match looks great. First option, second option, third option. Let's go with the second one. So here's the overall before and here is the after. So what is the point in learning compositing and all of those manual techniques of painting light, using blend modes, learning color? Well, this is the point in learning all of those things. So on the left, you have the one done with Harmonize and on the right, by hand, using a lot of adjustment layers. And you can clearly see while the vibe matches on the left hand side, it's a full on committed relationship on the right hand side, maybe a 50 year marriage when it comes to matching. Now let's take a look at some weird examples with absolutely zero sense matching. Here's the first one. I was trying to place an elephant on my table because there are so many elephant decors, so why not actually place a real elephant? And with Harmonize, here is what it created. Wow. And if I were to say I was speechless, that would be an understatement. It not only created the shadow here, but also the reflection. So darn good. But I felt that maybe we needed to brighten the top part a little bit. So I just created a curves adjustment layer just to brighten the top part and it works brilliantly. Here's the before, not matching at all. Here is the after. The exact same harmonization steps that we have done in the previous example. Here's another example that I was experimenting with. Since we have already addressed the elephant in the room, time for the giraffe. And it not only again created the shadows, but also a little bit of the reflections and it took care of the light as well since it's coming from the right hand side. See, it created all of those highlights for you. Now the Harmonize feature has its own limitations and areas of improvement. Keep in mind, this is the first iteration of this feature. So it's already doing fantastic job. These are just a few things you should be aware of. Starting with shadows. Here was the giraffe. Here's the Harmonize layer. It looks incredible. But as soon as you have a look at the shadows, this just doesn't sit well. It didn't create the shadow there. Here the shadow is just not working right. So whenever you have to have a well-defined shadow, it can mess up. Even if you look at other options, here was the first one. It didn't even consider a shadow here. Here was the third one. Shadows are missing here. Shadows can be a challenge unless they're soft. Since it generates the whole thing, sometimes it can make the subject look like a cartoon. Here's the before, of course, and here is the after. From afar, this is matching perfectly. But as soon as you zoom in, this just becomes quite softer. And in some examples, you'll see that the face looks like a cartoon. That the highlights and the shadows on the face make it look like a painting. So here is the overall before in this example. Nothing matching. Here's the after. It's matching all right. But have a look at the highlights. It just makes the face look AI generated. First option, second option, third option. All of them do the same thing. And I have to say, this is just brilliant. If it could have a little more texture and detail, it would make it insanely better. And when you have drastic changes in color, there's another issue that can creep up. Here's the before, here's the after. This is just magnificent. But as soon as you zoom in, you'll start to notice a weird fringe around the edge. Similarly here, it's all throughout the subject. And finally, of course, since this is a generation, there is a limit to the resolution. As soon as you zoom in to something like the shadows, you will begin to see the difference. This is the original surface, very sharp, but have a look at the shadows. It just looks blurred and pixelated. With all of its limitations on one side, this feature in its very first iteration is one of the biggest, the massivest feature Photoshop has ever released. If this is not mind boggling to you, I really don't know what is. I couldn't sleep until 4 a.m. yesterday trying out this feature. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other feature tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Go!